when students ask questions, they want answers immediately from me. And I don't give them the answer immediately. I ask them another question to see to get them to answer the question for themselves or get someone else in the group to answer the question and start that discussion. So it's very challenging in the beginning. But once they get into the rhythm, once they already know that just asking me everything is not going to happen, they start to think for themselves. And that's where um, I, th I believe that the most important thing in the classroom happens. When the students think for themselves and they get to where they want to be at the end of the day. The way of learning impacts strong students and the weak students because they learn to help each other. And then the weak students start to ask questions to where I pose a different kind of question that they're asking to the rest of the class. And then they start the discussion for themselves. And then I have to act as a facilitator to that discussion. Most people that I've encountered in my years of teaching that dislike math in the beginning is because they didn't understand it. And most of us that don't understand something dislike it usually. But when they start to understand it and they start to realize, hey, you know, I may, I may not be as weak in math as I thought. By the end of the year, when they say, wow, I enjoy math, I like it now, that for me is, um, is the pinnacle of what I do. It, 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 there's no better feeling than that.